be me, Sergeant Yuri of the Valhallen 545th Armored. We are part of a splinter fleet of a splinter fleet of a splinter fleet of the Indomitus Crusade. Ship drops us off then leaves to deploy more regiments along its path. Won't be coming back but at least we have an astropath in case of emergencies. Doors open. MFW it's a fracking jungle world. We are expected to fight feral orcs. Why the frack are we even here? Whatever. Hollow knowing the administratum there are probably catachans fighting necrons on an ice moon somewhere. This place is so humid my coat is soaked in sweat. I know what you're going to say, dumbass just take off your coat. Would if I could. But my armor is sewn into the weave. Also it's begun sticking to my flesh. Don't know why we're even here. This system doesn't seem to have anything useful. Aside from the green and black moon. Even then the cog boys would be more interested in that. Get ambushed. Apparently a TAU ship crashed here. How do it now this inquisition last time I checked. Feral orcs don't normally shoot blue lasers. Get slaughtered. Need to retter. Tactically withdraw commissar says no and gives a truly inspirational speech about duty, honor, death, great stuff. Unfortunately they don't get to finish as they trip and fall on my bayonet 7 times. Order a tactical withdrawal. Get boxed in by traps. Get to the vox operator and have them patch me into the base camp. Ask the astropath to send out a distress signal. Ask who they should call. I carefully think about it for half a minute before the Vox operator's head explodes. Fuck it. Just anyone who can help us kill these orcs. I had no idea the clusterfuck those words would lead to. Be me. Arch Margo's explorator. Be exploring the void in search of lost knowledge for the glory of the Omniscia. Be absolutely bored. Suddenly get distress signal from Valhallans on a jungle death world. Why are they there cogitator decide fuck it got nothing else going on and set a course there. Exit war. Play children of the Omniscia MP3 love doing that. Reach visual range of planet. Pause. Is that a Necron tomb? Moon. Decide fuck the meat bags. They can handle themselves and start orbiting the moon. Deploy Skiteriae manipoles for. Five. And six to salvage whatever they can from the moon in the name of the machine god. Be me. Philinid mercenary Captain Scarlet. Be hired by an Ordo Xenos Inquisitor to keep an eye on some Elder Exodites. Been here two weeks. Haven't seen any Elder Exodites. Out of nowhere a ship lands and spills out a bunch of Valhallans. They make their way through the forest. Until they get ambushed by feral orcs with DAU rifles. Decide to help out taking pot shots at the orcs. Be me. Novice Anquister. Bit shit at job truth be told. Tailing a sus cog boy who's a little too interested in Xenos tech. Flashing lights, beeps and all that jazz from the ship's cognizant apparatus our trusty tech priest says this potential heretic might have clocked our shit shitting my power armored pants. Hollow we hear the distress call of some dog's body fodder of the emperor's war machine praise his might. Now we have an excuse to be in the system. We're from the Iron Question and we're here to help. Biscateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Margos puts me in charge of three maniples and orders me to begin assaulting a Necron space station the size of a moon. Lead several arvises full of Skiterii, tech priests, and servitors to loot whatever we can before they realize we're there. That moon is massive. I am very excited to fight steel from the Necrons again. Without going into too much detail not all of my original libs were removed willingly. Now we just need to figure out a way inside. Be me, brother Captain Chiron and Terrace of the Angels of Penitence. Astropath receives distress call from Valhalla fighting on a jungle death world. Not much information other than work shooting blue lasers. MFW.png. Bored and no redacted in sight so what the hell. Order surfs to change course to rescue Valhallans. Forda Emperor.mp4. Bees me. Skullsmusher, da biggest and da greenest knob out dear. Watched some boys come up right sneaky on some humies. Da humies ran like Des was scared. One humie with da big hat looked like he was gonna shoot one of them other humies so they stabbed him. The mad gits. Ah, dem humies gonna be fun so we let em run off. But now's me got a new hat. 
Gonna be Warbus one day. I is. Be me. Sergeant Yuri. Be pinned down by orcs. Casualties so bad have to start using the dead bodies as cover. A few minutes after sending the message look up and see Arc Mechanicus. Fuck yay. The Skateri I will help us out. They immediately go for the moon instead. Fuck my life. Slanesh. Just then a bunch of Falinids girls with brightly colored hair wearing one piece swimsuits and chameleon cloaks descend from the trees and slice into the green skins. Not the backup I had in mind, but I'll take what I can get. Be me. Skateri I Marshall Gamma Mu 07. Finally find a way into that moon. They literally left one of the doors open. Stupid Xenus Imperium currently inside of what looks like some kind of monolith hangar. Pick related. Land and set up base camp. Place is utterly dead. Pun intended. None of the light are on. No sign of living necrons. Not even the scarabs are moving. Send in servo skulls and cerberies to scout ahead while we set up defenses. This feels almost too easy. Be me. Archmargos Explorator. Watch my Prisciarus's Kateri eye babies fly into the butt moon. Proud mother. Eggs. Get ping on sensors. That noob inquisitor that's been tailing me for weeks is here again. Seems he is trying to bring his ship into stealthily. Thinks I can't see him. Almost cute actually. For now decide to play along and act like I don't see his ship. CCCCTTTT Sergeant Yuri here. Yes, we do specialize in orcs. However, 1. We are an armored regiment, currently without tanks. 2. This is a jungle death world, not a frozen one. 3. The orcs have fracking TAU pulse rifles. Either send assistance or get off this Vox channel. Yuri over and out. CCCCCCCTTT boot be me. Necron overlord insomnitef. Wake up. Oh right. I was sleeping before. Oh yeah. We were all sleeping. Looks like the others are still sleeping. Ponder the situation for a few decades. Boards now cryptic shit I don't understand. Hey. The Canoptex are still active. Check out what's been happening on this planet for the last few centuries. Fuck all it turns out. Well, doesn't seem like the Canoptex are super needed to keep us safe. Take some Canoptex from the monolith hangar with me into a storage room to keep me company till the others wake up. To stave of boredom start teaching the Canoptex some neat tricks like jumping through wormholes and balancing resurrection orbs on their pincers. Gradually take out more Canoptex from the hangar. Do this for a few centuries. Suddenly get an intruder warning message from the monolith hangar. Remember I only left like 10 scarabs there. Fuck glyph. Be me. Low level ministorum adept. Apparently some Valhalla regiment got their tanks left behind somehow. Someone else on this shithole jungle planet is complaining about lack of supporting fire. No artillery or air. Not sure how these things can be deployed when nobody has cleared a proper armor drop zone or why they didn't file the proper forms for this complaint. In triplicate. Thinking. Shrug. Not really my problem. Some no-name colonel wants to blame me. Whatever. Recaf. Fill out Recaf reimbursement form. In triplicate. Some lord general wants to blame me. Fuck. Thinking harder. Review assets. In triplicate. Basically no assets left. Some lander still has a few vehicles but wants to bug out. Clear deployment of vehicle units. But not another landing. Contact navy. File it. In triplicate. Congratulate self on expediting deployment of ground assets from space while avoiding the need for other fire support. Wonder idly what sound as Enos makes if you drop a tank on its head from space wonder if the vehicles are even tanks. File thoughts away for later consideration. In triplicate. Get back to dealing with Castleton request for woolly jackets. Stamp some forms. In triplicate. B Skateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. This is starting to get strange. All the pics I get sent back show that everyone and the tomb is still asleep. Usually by now some automated defenses or something would come on, but still nothing. What the heck happened here heresy? Some of the Skateri I managed to get a few of the stasis sarcophagi open and started drawing things on the sleeping necrons faces. 
I decide to switch back to my own vision and explore around the hangar a bit, open up random door. MFW I find the overlord and a dozen canoptex just hanging out in the broom closet fully awake. Be me, Necron overlord in Somnatef. Using my incredible processing power to come up with a plan on how to defend the hangar from whatever attacked it, suddenly the door behind me opens. Turn 540 degrees. Weird creature with robes and metal bits. Not even necrodermis. Lol. But sensors also register flesh. Accompanied by flying skull. NGL. Pretty cool. Also has a big gun. Have a great idea. Waggle my arms and emit a shrieking sound. Not a scream. It's an advanced tactical maneuver to confuse the enemy. Command my canoptex to rush the intruder. In the confusion escape out of the room. See a bunch more of the weird creatures tampering with the faces of still sleeping nobles not my problem transdimensional encryption program. Decide this situation is becoming too dicey. Remember the planet our tomb world is orbiting used to be a really peaceful place where I could hide. Start running towards the nightside hangar. Hope the weird creatures aren't pursuing me. Be me. Skateri I Marshall Gamma Mu 07. Overlord suddenly starts to spaz out. Starts flailing his arms up and down rattling his cloak like some kind of bird and re-eeing at me. Does. Does he think I'm some kind of animal that can be scared away if he makes enough noise and makes himself look big? That's honestly a bit hilarious. About to try and speak to him when he sicks his pets on me. NGL probably shit myself if I still could. The things tackle me to the ground and start slicing into me. Unable to draw my radium serpenta and it gets kicked away. Overlord makes a break for it, but my servo skull manages to trip him. Lands flat on his face but I still have the canoptex to deal with. Hopefully some of my troops or the other tech priests can stop him from escaping. Be me. Sergeant Yuri. Phil and it managed to push back the orcs somewhat. We start gaining some ground only for another band to arrive lead by. Is that orc wearing a commissar hat? Hear whistling. Look up. Incoming. Several crates fall from the sky and land on the orcs breaking open splattering their guts all over the place. Inside the crates are. Oh thank you god emperor. We finally have some tanks. Leap over to the nearest lemon rus with whatever whatever surviving crew I can find and hear the engines purr to life. Time to show these green skins the might of the god emperor. Sir, why are our attached for linear auxiliaries all scantily clad in high cut leotards? It is of utmost tactical importance that our allies are outfitted as such, but utmost tactical importance. Be brain and tube. Formerly Adam Menial until Arkyatet ship selected me to be captain based upon psychological profile. Trying to fake it as a rogue trader. Realize as Abhuman's requested transport while I wasn't paying attention and the ship machine spirit has taken us through the warp without incident again. Clearly it's not as dangerous as they want us to believe. Remember this word. I shot down a Zeno ship and reported its existence to the administration. They gave me some tanks and cold weather gear but no destination then asked if I still needed my spot in orbit. The astropath who was with the Abhumans tells me a delivery order for those tanks has come in. Points out he's not under contract with me and asks questions to which I'm the only organic part of the crew everything else is automated and I have no idea how any of this important people stuff works is the answer. I might own this planet since I found it, provide extra food and some minerals and make my excuse. Bemoan that I can't enjoy what is by all accounts very good food because I'm a brain in a tube. Order the rest of the recrimination crew to make supply parcels and take the combat vehicles I've been building from the ship's archives down to join the fighting. They can drive free as the big O intended or something. Get back to working out how to get my body back. Be plant. Just chilling on a jungle world. Don't notice anything because I possess no sensory organs life is good photosynthesis. Meanwhile, be me, Private Marban Schwarzis of the 67th Catachan Jungle Fighters. Due to some administratum fuck up me and all the regiment end up in an ice moon. Place so damn cold that my nipples can be used as a pair of bayonets. To make matters worse, we are fighting Necrons. Who aren't bothered by the extreme cold at least the flame troopers get some warmth. 
FML. Be me. Newly promoted Margot Sonarc Mechanicus. Not sure what I'm doing most of the time so I'm just monitoring sensor readings of the planet below and orbit. I like sensors they are cooperative machine spirits and don't explode very often. Most of them are concentrated on the moon but we must be alert on all sides. Sensor reports a stray naval lander dropping what seems to be tanks but might be other vehicles. Almost directly on an Imperial Guard regiment surrounded by orcs. Not sure whether this is desecration of the Omnishia's bounty or a desperate last chance for them to lose enough weight to break orbit. Either way request to send a squad of Skaterii and some Engenseers to go rescue any tanks that survive. Told it would be a fine chance for me to learn to liaise appropriately with the Imperial Guard what please Vox. Told to grab any TAU rifles I can find and get back up here before the Necrons wake up decide to spend as long as I can on the planet's too many stories of Mechanicus retrieving Necrons without realizing they're not done murdering. They don't tell you this until you're a Margos. Reluctantly get my combat loadout and board a Storm Eagle. Engin Sears look nervous. Skateri I look neutral. I look like my face is made of metal. Let's go. Skateri I look. Be me, Skateri Ranger Alpha. Just finished drawing a dick along the beard of a sleeping cryptic. Suddenly an overlord skids across the floor towards me. Okay pick. Trying to decide if I should shoot him, or add hair to the testicles I drew. Be me, Sergeant Yuri. The greenskins are starting to retreat, but a few of them managed to get some of the tanks. We can't let these feral orcs turn into proper ones so we pursue them deeper into the jungle, with the aim of destroying or capturing any vehicles or TAU pulse rifles they have. Only reinforcements are still the felinids, but at least we have tanks now. Hope we can wipe out these orcs before they become a bigger threat. Be Trooper Sasha, Valhalla Nice Warriors. Yet again, we have been sent to the wrong planet, and yet again it is a humid jungle shithole. Welcome to the guard. Seeing as Yuri already killed the commissar and the officers are mostly useless fat drunks. I see no reason not to ditch my flacoat and hat. Sure the flacoat has the armor woven into it, but flak won't do much against TAU weaponry anyways. Hopefully no one starts tossing around frag grenades or mortars or whatever. Anyways, it looks like the fighting has died down in this particular sector. Time to go find some Tanner. Be for Linid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy. Stupid Scarlet and her stupid fetish uniforms. Sure they have landed as a few comfy yet high paying ceremonial jobs. But do we really need to wear them out in the field? It is not like any customers are watching. The leotards ride up like a bitch. Are way too tight and don't breath at all, and for some reason we don't have shoes. It is like having a permanent wedgie while wearing a tight corset. Also in the past hour alone I have stepped in orc scat twice, and sat on at least one mildly poisonous plant or fungi. Fuck my life. Be me. The Linid Mer Captain Scarlet. Well that took longer than I wanted. We finally managed to push off the green skins when it started raining tanks out of nowhere. All of my girls are covered in sweat and exhausted, a few even taking off their cloaks to cool off. The commander of these Valhallans wants to press the advantage and pursue them further into the jungle. Some of the ice warriors however are taking a moment to rest. I follow their example and plop myself down at a group that seems to have started brewing tea. One offers me some and I take a swig. It's very bitter I think I could learn to like the flavor. Be me pretending I'm really rogue trader Winston D. Halleck. Hear that the Imperial Guard haven't received the tanks and food parcels I sent them. Ask the people I sent down what's wrong. They don't know how to operate the tanks. They don't know how to navigate a wooded terrain. Their landing craft has an orc problem. Let the guard know where to find them. Hope they know how to fix this. Be me. Sergeant Yuri. Get call over the Vox about another shipment of tanks that used landers instead of just dropping them. They also have food. Send the group over there to secure the landing site and start bringing the food. Things are finally starting to look up actually. 
B Tech Priest 11111. That mean you'll that somehow got control of Site 002949 Delta has been making tanks and landing craft of unknown pattern without anyone knowing. Sent us all off ship to help some guard regiment. Examine the tanks. Weapons have expected performance beyond equivalent weapons of their size. Suddenly orcs. Might have to destroy all these machines before they can serve. Calculating how much I hate my life. So I hear you guys are into thick big titty wafers. Well we got you covered at nickbedlier.co.uk. One stop shop for coom jar models. However we do sell a lot more than just smart models we got everything for running any fantasy settings and even some not grim dark science fiction models. In fact we even have some anime inspired models and video game. But if models is not your thing we also have some role playing adventures and dnd 5e meme subclasses. Also every video we will be giving away all our homebrew content to a subscriber of the channel. All you got to do to be in with a chance is subscribe. Today's winner is this guy. Well done. Claim your prize by contacting us via email at nickbedeercontact at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the video. Be newly promoted Margos Zeta 23 from before. Land with Skateri and Engin Sears. Pilot immediately fucks off. What? Order Engin Sears to make sure any tanks nearby that need repairs are good to go. Gather any fallen TAU pulse rifles. Is this tech heresy? Whatever we're keeping them out of the hands of the Imperial Guard before they learn how awesome they are. Have Skateri squad assist Imperial Guard in securing perimeter. Wander up to only soldier not wearing an armored coat. Clearly she is in charge as she did not expect to be on the front lines flawless logic. Ask how the Mechanicus can help these beleaguered guardsmen. B Tech Priest 11111. Here at match forces have landed. Need to report everything that's happened. Access drop ship weapons systems. Didn't expect that awesome. Area is no longer contested. Order everyone to relocate to a new location. Half the vehicles go off in the wrong direction. Drop ship leaves once everyone's out. Have to walk there. Be me. Felinid Mer Captain Scarlet. After sitting down some Mechanicus ships land and start letting out a bunch more tanks. Fixing the tanks that landed earlier and broke and snatching up TAU rifles. Their apparent leader approaches the Valhallen chick next to me. Apparently believing she is their leader since their actual leader left to fight orcs. Another Mechanicus ship then lands. Seems to get confused and wanders off after the Valhallans from earlier. Also MC Fluffy is complaining about our uniforms again just because her ass is so fat it gives her a constant wedge. Take another sip of the bitter tea. This is going to be a Luong day. Be me. Zeta 23. Apparently another Tech Priest wandered up. Blew away nearby orcs with dropship remotely then wandered away. Perimeter secure. Observe for Linid Merc displaying signs of exasperation. Assure her that I will assist all Imperial forces against the orcs not just the guard Valhallen Co still hasn't responded to me. Assume she is processing. Point out that orcs will probably take stolen tanks to TAU ship. Start combing TAU weaponry onto them soon. Obviously this is tech heresy. Maybe tech heathenry since orcs aren't imperial. Not the time to get bogged down in pedantry though. Request her to order troopers to do something about it. I don't know. I'm not usually on the imperial guard jobs. My skateri are on perimeter duty so we're probably fine if any infantry show up. Probability of success against known feral orc force is greater 96%. 92% when the orcs have TAU rifles. Close to 100 in either case assisted by Imperial Guard probability of success against stolen armor 30%. Increases to 50% assisted by Imperial Guard. Unacceptable. Nervousness is not something servants of the machine god experience but I'd feel a lot better if there was some machinery I could upgrade or maintain out of my depth vox. B Tech Priest 11111. Arrive at intended location. Managed to angle a few of the tanks. Actually Amargo's here. Enthusiastic introduction and explanation binary. Tell him about how some menial is now playing road trader in an age of technology super battleship. 
tell him about the possibility AOT era tanks crewed by the remains of the expedition. Hope he doesn't blame me that that an untrained crew have gone off and may have lost the vehicles to walks I don't want to be a servitor. Tell him about the ship probably having manufacturing capacity and enough firepower to counter anything we have in system. Wait for the wisdom of Amargos to solve all these problems. Be definitely railroad trader Winston D. Halleck. See the first my tanks and food parcels have located the guard forces. Send orders for crew to attack targets at their discretion. Head off to mine those asteroids so I can make more stuff and put some distance between myself and everything else. Point out that orcs will probably take stolen tanks to TAU ship. Start combing TAU weaponry onto them soon. That's not a bad idea. Be orc shaman mech boy. Few months back commit crash in valley. Obvious gift from Gork Mork. Full of blue boys. All dead. Sep dons in ice tubers. And boxy stick things that light up and cut through things. Get our work turning yellow commit temple tar mork. More I work. More I feel me brain increasing in size. Fine really big sticks that go boom. But too big for lads to lift. Messing with ice tube with frozen blue boy inside. Almost got it open. Here rumbling. Go outside. See big metal things like ship but boxier and full of low of orcs instead of dead blue boys. Boys tell me things fall out of sky on top of them. A beer is blessing from Gork and more cava painting suddenly get idea. Big boxy guns from ship plus big boxy fennings from sky pull out ruins and ask Mork if it's okay. Mork says, yeah that's fine gonna need more bones for diz. Maybe ask knife ears in next valley. They always have bones. BZ to 23. Tech priest arrives with tanks. He explains all of that. Panic binary. Let him know the orcs are probably going to start putting TAU weapons onto any stolen tanks and that we need to stop them. State that whoever started dropping tanks from space is at fault for any lost armor but that's a matter for senior liaisons. Request he go after orcs. Give approximate location of TAU ship. I'm going to report goings on to orbital forces. Crank personal Voxcoder to maximum. Tell Valhallands the orcs are stealing their tanks and to get off to them. They can follow Tech Priest 11111. Skaterii forces will accompany you. Encouragement. To victory. Turn Voxcoder back down and go find a Vox unit capable of reaching orbit. Hope there's an ore specs there for me to tinker with. Always calms me down. B Tech Priest 11111. Get orders from Margos Zeta 23. Lead guard, Skaterii and idiot menials and search for orcs. Find hill and send forces to secure it. Reach top and look around. See crashed Xeno ship. Send Margos Zeta 23 coordinated. Organize my forces for the attack. Guard in center. Skaterii on flanks. Probably hopeless menials in rare dark age tanks in reserve think this through. Losing new design of tanks would be bad but the menials don't know how to operate them but nor does anyone else. If I sent them in first they would just get in the way when the reserves had to go forward anyway. I think this actually makes sense. Order the attack and hope. Be Arch Margos Explorator. That Margos I sent down to the planet earlier just to get rid of him calls me back. Says something about a day old ship dropping tanks on the planet below and the prospect of orcs combining Horus Heresy era vehicles with TAU weapons. Decide now is probably a good time to start sending down more Skitterii. Vehicles. And maybe some night orticians if we have any. Send out a sensory sweep. Find the Archaea ship they were talking about in the asteroid belt gathering materials. Is this thing actually capable of making new Archaea tech? Move Arc Mechanicus out of orbit of Necron Moon and closer to Asteroid Belt. Send out a signal with a request to talk with whomever is in charge of the vessel. If no one responds, we'll just send over more Skaterii and Tech Priests and hope for the best. B Road Trader Winston D. Halleck. Ad Mech wants to talk about something. Still brain and tube. New body soon if I have time to do it. Send reply. I just want my dick back but no. It's always something. Hopefully we can just vox each other until I can get back to important things be Sergeant Yuri. Spot the crashed TAU ship in the distance. 
Orcs have fortified it making it their stronghold. Tech Priest arrives with Skateri I back up. They take the flanks while we make up the spearhead. He tells me more of his brethren are on the way soon as well. Now is the time to wipe these Xenos from the face of this world. Beginning final charge full seam ahead. For the Emperor. The Arch Margos Explorator. Receive reply from Archeo ship back. Thank the Omnitriad is willing to communicate and we don't need to fight. Vox is a bit grabbled though. The ship says something about wanting a dick. I'm okay. Find sexiest servitor icon with the biggest cock and send it over to, to the ship in a Valkyrie. Tell the ship the dick is on its way. Darker to match in their spirits can be salad on Nishiabi Tech Priest 11111. Guard Sergeant has arrived. Seems to like the plan. He orders an advance and everyone moves forward. Send him a warning about the other tanks being an unknown quintile. Hope he can figure it out if he needs to use them. Reserves don't get used if everything goes well right not my job. B Rogue Trader Winston D. Halleck. Get reply. Shit was the Vox connection wired to my thoughts. Deny everything. Set Vox to new settings and request signal check ask for refresh of conversation. Close all shuttle bays. Be me. Skateri I Marshall Gamma Mu 07. I honestly don't know how, but somehow I was able to fight off a dozen or so canoptics by myself. Probably because there were so many of them they couldn't even attack me properly without enduring each other. Though I didn't get out unscathed far from it in fact, the only thing keeping me upright is my servo skull. Limp out of supply closet holding in my guts with my one remaining arm. See the overlord is still face down on the floor and everyone is still drawing dicks on the necrons. Really guys. None of you even attempt. Pass out. BZ to 23. Tinkering with or specs. Happy place bin. Valhallans have mostly moved out to deal with orcs. Tech priest 1,100,111 seems like he knows what he's doing. Has picked up some kind of capable Valhallan tank sergeant. Designation Yuri. Mentally note to give the tech priest a commendation for taking to the front lines efficiently rather him than me. Glad that reinforcements are in route. Coordinate between Mechanicus ship, Valhallans, and the tech priest via Vox and or specs everyone has everyone else's coordinates and approximate force strength and everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing. Someone in space is even getting a new dick. Good for them. The machine spirits love it when a plan comes together. Or spec starts to ghost. Hum binary. Fiddle with it. That's no ghost. Start getting hard returns. Necron ship approaching planet. By the Omnishia's shiny metal left testicle. Vox commanders of forces. Keep them apprised. Sergeant Yuri. Tech Priest 1,100,111 and Arc Mechanicus Bridge only definitely not that unarmored Kochik. No point in panicking the Valhallan soldiers at large until necessary. Track probable landing coordinates of Necrons. Pray to the Omnitia the reinforcements make it down before the Necrons do thank the or specs for alerting me to the threat. Weapons check ballistic Macadendrites. Fully functional. Continue to pray. The Arch Margos Explorator. Just lost contact with my marshal and now the Archaea ship is acting strange. Closed all its shuttle bays and is backing away from the Valkyrie. Requests clarification of its earlier broadcast. Send signal for the Valkyrie to stop then open a much more secure and stable channel with the ship. Ship is now claiming to actually be a rogue trader and it just wants a body. Dark Age machine spirits can be so weird omniscient. B Tech Priest 1,100,111. Get emergency information from Margos. Order these Age of Technology tanks to relocate to his location since I don't want them in this battle anyway and they're best in the care of a Margos anyway. Tell Sergeant Yuri a new development requires the tanks. I'm sure he can still make the plan work. About to update the Skateri I when some grots ambush me. Connection lost error. Definitely be road trader Winston D. Halleck. Vox still broadcasting some of my thoughts. Ask Arch Margos what he wants. Start trying to understand what's happening regarding communications. Machine spirit answers. Not the answer I was expecting but it was trying to help. Be Sergeant Yuri. 
making our way downhill blasting music from a pre-imperium band called Sabaton from the speakers. Get Vox call from Tech Priest telling us to pull out our tanks. Get on the horn and ask him if he is insane. This is literally the final battle and he wants us to relocate our armor in the middle of a charge on an enemy stronghold. Don't get response back, just static. No time to worry about that now or the front of the TAU or temple ship bursts open. Out comes an absolute unit of a tank. It looks like someone took four tanks. Fuse them together. Then attach TAU guns to it and cover the whole thing in animal bones and wraith bone. Probably bigger than a banner blade. Put away Vox and turn up the music even louder. Order main cannon to fire. This is what we were made for. BZ to 23. Lose connection with 1,100,111 just as tries to send tanks back. Panic. Sergeant Yuri refuses to pull back. That's good actually. Necron ship is coming down the other side of the TAU ship, and it's just a shuttle. Vox commanders. Keep them appraised that a small number of Necrons might approach the rear of the orcs. Still can't raise 1,100,111. Engin Sears report 5 more tanks ready to go but no more tank commanders. Just crew fuck. Processing I am the last combat ready Mechanicus representative nearby. I have to go after him. I want to sit in my Vox tent. Too bad binary. Advise Uck Mechanicus I am going in and to hurry up with those Skaterii. Advise new dick road trade the machine spirit guy if he's got anything to help out now is the time. Not sure what his deal is but bad or insane reinforcements would be better than none stop throwing pulse rifles at remaining few of Alhallans and tell them to get moving no longer care about tech heresy. Take 4 and various macadamites myself. Jump into tank. Link Vox to Valhallan's base Vox. Lemon Rust Demolisher Machine Spirit is surprised to meet me but ready to go to Engin Sears to take the other tanks and follow me. Tell crew to flank the main approach and cut into the side just ahead of 1,100,111's last reported location. Tell the Valhallans to follow behind us and get ready to rescue anybody from the tanks who needs it. Drive me closer. I want to shoot them with my looted TAU pulse rifles. Be me. Archmargo's Explorator. The Archaea ship that thinks it's a rogue trader has just asked me what we want. I assume it has never encountered a member of the Cult Mechanicus before. Explain how we wish to understand how it is making vehicles of a pattern not seen since before the schism. As well as ask why it is just dropping such valuable tech on a seemingly random jungle world with no strategic value whatsoever. Also add at the end why it wishes for a body when it is in essence what our cult all strive to become. The ship also seems to be talking to itself on some occasions. B brain and tube. Receive answer from Arch Margo's guy. Might think I'm a machine spirit might know I'm a brain in a jar. He wants to know how to make the tanks. Good I can do this. He also wants to know why I'm dropping them on planet so I send him a copy of the order from the Ministorum Adept. He also wants to know why I want a body. I just broadcast the plans for the tank and hope that keeps him busy. Make up something about performing maintenance and cut any other communications while I take stock of the situation. I miss sleep. First thing I'm doing when I get a body is sleeping. Who am I kidding? There's going to be some new problem I have to solve probably involving those strange readings I'm getting from the moon. Bjork Shaman Mech Boy. Finally finish big vehicle to carry around big shooter. Started up on Etar accidentally crash through Dar front of Dar temple. Oops swag. Wanna try out big cannon thing. Luckily weird alien things driving Mork and Gorks's gifts are coming in to give us plenty to shoot at. Tell Grotz to run faster on their wheels prepare to fire Dar big gun. Fire Zuoam. Whole thing shakes as Dar big slug is launched at Dar enemies. Miss their boss but wow was that fun. Smack a grot target him ta stop gawking and load a no for slug. Hear noise. Look up and see moon shaft fain land behind temple. Get up on top of gun and see shiny lad from old cave paintings get out. More things ta foit more can gawk. Be me. Skateri I alpha primus 11999. Welp Marshal Gamma Mu07 is lying on the floor in a pool of his own blood behind the overlord of the tomb. Both are probably dead. 
check chain of command. Next in line is, oh shit it's me. Suddenly get and load from all the data the marshal was taking in. I feel the new sphere overtaking me it is a good pain cog. Mind has expanded, processing power more than tripled. Also the lights in the tomb just turned on. Apparently killing or knocking out the overlord activated some kind of failsafe in that move. Gets Kateri to stop drawing dicks and mustaches and form some actual machine goddamn firing lines. Pick related here they come. Betras in the infinite. Oricon's latest prank freed a bunch of my displays. I need a way to get a bunch of orcs in particular. Sanit says there should be some orcs on the planet next to the planet of the tomb moon of overlord in Somnatef. Take a phalanx of lich guards and a few tesseract labyrinths and dolmen gate over. MFWI exit the portal and see a tech priest with arms full of necron artifacts. Anyone can continue Trazin if they want to. I just wanted to bring him here. Be Trooper Sasha. Valhalla Nice Warriors. Sipping some Tana when a few cat ladies in high cut leotards come over and help themselves to some. Weird, but I have encountered Felinids before and even once fought with the Timbuktu survivors, so I know they are a bit strange. My male squadmates, and even a few of the female ones seem pretty distracted. It is almost like they have never shared a shower block before. If it keeps them occupied that is fine with me though. We relax for an hour while more supplies are landed. Suddenly a creepy looking cockboy shows up, though they are all kind of creepy. He asks me how he can be of assistance. Don't say anything because cogboys weird me out. Hopefully someone else in the squad will answer him. But he keeps talking to me anyways about tactics and such. Then another one shows up and they start talking to each other in their strange beeping language. Eventually the first one tells me to follow the second one. Get our Vox guy to relay the message to Sergeant Yuri since he seems to be de facto in charge of the company. Our captain has gout from massive alcohol consumption, and our lieutenants are passed out drunk, dead, a literal prostitute, dead, probably got lost on the transport and never disembarked, wounded, and probably writing some dumb revolutionary manifesto again, respectively. Yuri gets us to advance on some crashed TAU ship the orcs have turned into a fortress. Damn, I hate the fighting part of being a soldier. We are technically an armored regiment now, since my original regiment got merged with another regiment, which got merged with this one. However, since I never learned how to operate a tank, my squad just rides on one of the last tanks in the formation. Weird cogboy from earlier arrives and starts handing out TAU weaponry. Sure, why not? They hit much harder than Alaskan, and the commissar is dead anyways. We arrive at the orc fortress. Feral orcs everywhere, carrying TAU weaponry, being led by some monstrosity made of multiple tanks. Necron craft also lands nearby. Not good, time to look for opportunities to tactically advance in a rearward direction. BZ-23, commanding final squad of tanks and driving to catch up to the rest. Probably not a commander Guard's woman is chilling on one of the tanks but at least she has a pulse rifle. Arrived from the flank. See some orc bastard has stuck a bunch of tanks and TAU guns and what looks like wraithbone together. Please ominous ye not the elder too. See some orcs turn to fight something shooting them in the rear. Can't find tech priest 1,100,111. I am the only one with a demolisher cannon on the front line. Orcs everywhere. Fire 3 ballistic macadandrides and 4 TAU pulse rifles held awkwardly in more macadandrides. Probably not doing this right. Doesn't matter, the orcs are everywhere. Order tank crew into demolisher range of that tank wraith on TAU gun orc built abomination have them fire at it as fast as possible. Need to encourage flagging tank line. Some of the very few infantry clearly do not want to be riding a tank into battle either pheromones. Can smell your fear. Getting flanking support from 5 whole tanks should be good enough really but that big bastard quad tank would scare a less devoted servant of the Omnitia. Turn personal Vox Goda to max again. All tanks fire cannons on the big abomination. Sweep the ground with stubbers. Infantry, keep borders away. Kill the orcs. For the Omnitia. For Valhalla. Privately hope I sounded machine like and not terrified. 
Don't want to be here. Where the fuck is 1,100,111 and why can't I find him? Privately Vox Arc Mechanicus and Machine Spirit Rogue Trader Dick Guide to stop being confused at each other and drop the Skateri and anything else. We have contact with Necrons. Possible Elder in the area. Be me. The Linid Merc Captain Scarlet. Sidart looks like breaks over. Spill out the rest of the tea and gather up the squad. Get the lowdown on the plan from the tech priest and the ice warrior lady. Decide to provide support by staying hidden in the trees. Nyan MC Fluffy complains about her leotard again, but most of us just ignore her at this point. If she just lost some weight it really would be an issue. Fighting goes well. Hope we can get this over and done quick so I can have my first shower in weeks. Suddenly the front of the temple explodes and out rolls an abomination of bone and metal. Violet and Cyan have the only am rifles so order them to get a good firing solution and take the shot when they can. They say they have an opening on what is probable one of the tank's front engines. Order them to take it. Hope this works. The Arch Margos Explorator, a newly promoted Alpha Primus just reported the two moon is apparently waking up now. Need to get back there and provide an evac for my Prishyarus's Kateri babies and their sweet Necron tech. Also one tech priest says Trazin is here now for some reason. Archaea ship suddenly got weird and dodging my questions. Get another message from that same damn tech priest on the surface I sent just to get rid of him asking for support. But you sent the chit already data packet check sensors. The Skiteriae, Knights, and Dune Crawlers are not there yet. Tell them to go faster so this asshole will stop bugging we. They say, okay. Get back to talking to Archaea ship and trying to get my babies out of the moon. Life issued me BZ to 23. Receive bitches and the chital ready data packet clearly support is on the way. Demolisher cannon knocks away some of the wraith bone. Other cannons are chipping chunks out of it too. See one of the tank abomination engines explode after detecting for linids in a tree. Cheered by this, proceed to shoot orcs even harder. Be me, Sergeant Yuri. Music is blasting so loud it can be heard over the fire of demolisher and vanquisher cannons. Everyone screaming their lungs out as we charge into the orc savages. The front right tank on the orc abomination explodes right in front of us stopping the behemoth in its tracks. Just as the first troops reach bayonet range the sky whistles yet again, and down from the heavens descends drop keeps spilling out imperial knights like their space marines. Landers dropping tanks fully crude and charging. A few are even the Mechanicus variety, Duna Crawlers and Scorpius Disintegrators. Valkyries full of Skaterii. Explosions shake the ground. It all comes crashing into the orcs like a wave of death and destruction swallowing them whole with our momentum. This is why I love being in the guard. BZ-23. By the Omniscient. The reinforcements have finally fucking arrived. Get on the Vox and start coordinating with Sergeant Yuri to get the knight some room to move through us. Also ask if he's seen Tech Priest 1,100,111. Vox for Linids and thank them for stopping the tank abomination from advancing. Inform them the knights will rip it apart now. Ask them if they can move up to a viewpoint to see past the Orc Temple and start shooting Necrons if they see any. Point out a promising looking tree. They seem to like trees. Tell them to watch out for Orc Shaman as well. Not sure what happened to him and sometimes those designated shaman are sickers. Still Zeta 23. Remember to get off Vox and shoot some orcs. Fortunately I still have a stupid number of guns. Tactical data from Skateri Iron Knights flooding my brain. Direct my tank squad to follow in a knight's wake. Actually starting to have fun now that I am behind something bigger and more dangerous than I am. That might just be the Skateri I data. Gretchen charging through night legs. Most get stomped. Nail 7 of those that make it through with macadendrite held guns and ballistic macadendrites. Last one lands in front of my heavy stubber and is easily dispatched. Not before I notice that he had some form of primitive explosive. Back on the Vox. All tanks. Be advised. Orcs attempting swarm tactics with explosives see another orc tank explode. Starting to enjoy this Valhalla music mp4. 
B Tech Priest 1100111 Night steps on grots dragging me. Misses me by millimeters. Can't move limbs or access vox. Next step bounces me over. C Zeta 23. Are those Zeno weapons he's using? Try to attract attention with vocal output. B Elder Exodite. Long have our ancestors dwelt upon this world. For it may be a miserable mud hole, but at least it is ours. But the infestations of the brutish green ones in the metal dead have long ago caused many of my people to flee via the great web to safer worlds, or to the world ships of our cousins. A few of us remain to monitor our world. The dim monke have arrived recently to try and make contact with us, but we ignore them, for they are not the first, nor will they be the last of their kind. However, a three-way fight between the invaders, this is worth seeing, at least from a safe hiding spot. The green ones have used pieces of wraithbone from the old ruins in the next valley to make another one of their giant talismans. But I ignore this, it will not be the first this has occurred I spot a small female trying to discreetly leave the battle. This is interesting though, it has been centuries since I have had a pet. C1100111 Emergency stop tank and call for a 180 rotate barrel to catch him. Looks like it hits him a bit hard but it catches him. Oof fuck. Have crew rotate the barrel back around. Drag him into the tank and set a spare engine seer to helping him out tell him all will likely return to optimal soon. Valhallans have proven more capable than expected and reinforcements are tearing through orcs. Archmargos on the arc bridge seems mad at me though. Not that an Archmargos experiences anger. Order tank to continue. More slowly. We need room to shoot to avoid being swarmed. Be me. Orc shaman mech. Da front metal right box just exploded. Wes can't move no more. Rativa. Got da big shooter loaded. All des things start falling from sky. So many shiny fangs. So little time. If only day wasn't trying to kill me boys. Big cannon is stuck. Have to push it myself into position myself aim at big metal lad in front of metal box with small metal lad on top. Gretchen's probably get crushed when Feng comes down. Don't care revolution fired our big gun gadgets. Fire zoo and be 11 million and 1111. Zeta 23 sets are and gonna see to work aiding me. Start calculating where the grots were taking me. Must be a geographical location since they always travel towards one location really close to where they were taking me. Disembark and seek out location. Find orc fungus. Notice one is divergent. Take gene sample. Oh shit it's a genostealer primarch. Extract it intact and report lib capture. Orcs are approaching. Probably hybrids so I run back to Zeta 23 with live Jenna Steeler Primark Mushroom or Lork subtypes have the same DNA so shit like this probably happens a lot so much data to be gained. B Zeta 23. 1100111 gets up and climbs out of the tank after a few minutes of tending water logical. Returns with Orc sample while the shaman is pushing a cannon around physically the pulse rifles. They do nothing. I'm shooting the orc with four of them by the Omnitia. Suspect warp cruft or filthy Xenos machine spirit rebellion. 1,100,111 catalogs orc sample as tyrannid infested. Don't even have time to curse as night in front of me explodes thanks to massive cannon on orc abomination tank zaps it to bits. Processing fuck. He's definitely looking at me. Processing faster overclock. Bring tank about and start crew moving us in an arc around the tank abomination so the orc will have to push the cannon back the other way. Order tank squad to follow closely. Keep shooting the abomination. Not a lot of room to maneuver here. We're weaving through Skateria units who have been relieving frontline Valhallans. Good thing we're linked up or this would be a disaster. Hope we're not in the way of fire but we can't let this bastard keep shooting undistracted demolish a cannon knocks some more wraithbone and panels loose. Another engine is exposed. Hope someone out there is stationary and stable to shoot it. B 11 million and 1111. Start calculating source of Jenna Steeler infestation. Option 1 native to world. This would mean potentially lots of hybrids. Option 2 TAU spacecraft. 
This would explain Primark being so close to crash site. Option 3 arrived with Imperial forces. Insufficient time for sample to grow to current status. Option 4 unknown vector. No known unknowns at this time except Necrontid. More hybrid orcs show up. I really should acquire a weapon. Hopefully I can get off world after this attack but for now I'm stuck requisitioning fallen guard weapons. Find dead melter operator and take her weapon. B brain and tube. Archmargo's explorator still trying to keep communication with me. Should I leave the system? I kind of want to see how things work out on the planet head back to planet while trying to work out what went wrong with my new body so much data but the ship helps me understand it. Lots of strange readings coming from the moon. Make plans to destroy it just in case. Be me. Orc shaman. Met direct hit. Metal lads ploded but didn't fall back on small metal lads like I want. Now a second metal lad jump us onto da metal box and da two start talking in da middle of a fight. Stare at metal person try to explode his head like I did head bashes a few days ago. Doesn't seem to work and he just reverses his vehicle away. Must be too stupid for my powers to work on him. Also fires his big gun and breaks off an outer chunk or bone stop blowing Hollis and me ship anger other lad on tank getting really close with his big cannon. Be me. Sergeant Yuri. The orc shaman mech made the mistake of firing another shot not at me. Took out a knight instead. Still a tragic loss. But thanks to the drop keeps there are plenty to go around. Orc blood is everywhere. Our treads are starting to get clogged with the stuff. We are getting closer and closer to the abomination. I want a nice clean shot to blow that thing's head off. Be me. Skateri I Alpha Primus 11999. Managed to set up firing lines in the monolith hangar. Don't know what happened. Some tech priest probably pushed a button or something somewhere. But the entire tomb is now awake and flooding the hangar like a horde of nids. The overlord's body is still on the floor. Don't know why he hasn't teleported away yet. On top of that, lich guards from what looks like the Nahilak dynasty are here now. Trying our best to hold the line in the hangar but it's a losing battle. Decide fuck it and order everyone to load whatever Necron artifacts and weapons we can onto the landers and gtfo. Grab the body of the marshal and put him over my shoulder. Another Skateri I drags the overlord. Don't stop firing as we back up. Send an evac signal to the Ark and hope it's in range for us to get out of this alive. We need a way to deal with this with better weapons. Preferably from a nice safe Ark Mechanicus. BZ-23. Big Shaman Orc concentrates really hard at us for a while warp cruft fuck. Organic part of head wants to explode but rest of brain informs it that is illogical. Now I have a headache. Haven't had one of those since 3 sets of upgrades ago 1,100,111 reports more orc genestealer hybrids. Divert some skaterii from the second line to his location. I am a Margos override. Keep firing on orc abomination tank. Looks like Yuri is advancing across where my squad just traversed to get a clean shot on the shaman. Processing. He should be able to move up quickly since we just diverted a lot of the orc infantry's attention by dropping along the line of battle. Massive orc cannon could be a problem. Order crew to keep firing into the damaged areas of the turret mechanism as quickly as possible. Need this thing to start falling off before it takes out Yuri, who's really what's holding the guard forces together. Not sure what happens if you're sent to assist the guard and they all die but it can't be good keeping pinging at the shaman with small arms. Hoping he can't sick offensively and push the cannon and block shots all at once. Get on the vox as well. Alert felines to holes in tank leading to particularly volatile areas. Not sure if they can see at this range. Alert knights to danger from cannon. Fallen knight belatedly explodes. Emphasizing my points and taking out some Gretchen hope other Imperial forces got out of there. Really wish 1,100,111 had taken command instead of getting into a fight with Jenna Steeler Orcs hope he manages to lure them into fighting the other Orcs. Getting distracted again. Concentrate harder on shooting. Be for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Emperor damn my fucking ears. Explosions everywhere. Constant shouting and wagging. Cannons. Jets landing. Drop keeps blaring trumpets. 
Metal music TAU rail guns and I just exploded. Then when I finally get a sec to break, I get a tech priest screeching in my ear about weak points in the tank. Vox my squad about concentrating fire in the holes in the tank. Not sure if any of them heard me or not through these damn explosions and music. Fuck my life. I better get paid extra for this shit. Be me. Tech Priest 11,001,111. Zeta23 has provided some scatteriae to keep me safe. Give them the patriarch mushroom and explain that the orcs want it back so all they have to do is keep it safe and away from orcs. Examine large Xeno vehicle. It has a hole in it. The enemy can't attack me if I'm inside the enemy. Check my melter has plentiful ammunition. Identify one of the more capable crews of the still undesignated tanks and order them to drive me towards the enemy. Enter the enemy vehicle and start shooting. Meld my way to safety. If any orcs come close I'll shoot them. Wait until we win and shoot my way out. BZ to 23. C1,100,111 enter the enemy quad tank monstrosity hefting a melter. Where did he get that? What? Phil in it sounding confused on the Vox. Apparently noises drowning out updates Yuri still charging. Hop back on the Vox and direct everyone, including for Linnids to fire at the Xenos not inside the tank. Remember to adjust my volume this time. Hope that Philinid tank sniper person hears me in time. Tell 1,100,111 to melt whatever's keeping that turret running. Refrain from mentioning here's the craziest tech priest I have ever met and I once met a guy who was mostly made of scavenge chain swords. Continue to strafe around the enemy tank distracting the shaman. Now fully driving on top of orcs. At least they seem to have run out of explosives to stick to us. Wonder what happened to those necrons. B11,001,111. Get orders to melt whatever's keeping that turret running I did not want this duty. Start melting my way into the tank thing. It's uncomfortably hot. Think I've found it. A herd of squigs that are harnessed to what I'm assuming is a collection of dynamos and moving at great speed. Feeling strange found the magus. Psychic dual xeno hybrid hits me with mind bullets. Take cover. Suddenly speed and sound increases a lot. Shoot through all a bit then run. Hear very loud crashes behind me. Run. To the jungle forest place I run. I just wanted cover believe I can be road trader Winston D. Halleck. Moon is going nuts and I'm worried. Is it really a good idea to destroy moon? Fuck it it's probably my moon right. Apparently Skateri I Alpha Primus 11999 is evacuating in large numbers Skateri I are pretty alright and my ship's closest. Unlock hangar doors. I'll let them in if they ask but let's not push the issue fire a few weapons at the moon. Moon not really a moon anymore. BZ to 23. C1,100,111 escape half melted tank abomination. Send Skaterii to help him again. Vox everyone to resume firing on the tank since it is now more whole than tank how is it still standing tech heresy. Keep circling it. Trying not to get head exploded by orc shaman. Be me. Skateri I Alpha Primus 11999. Got Gamma Mu 07 over my shoulders and am still firing. Suddenly whole hangar shakes like someone started cyclonic torpedoes or something at it. Pillars and walls start coming down on top of us. Chunks of black stone the size of hat blocks are falling from the ceiling the fuck is going on out there. Did they really start kicking the hornet's nest while we are all still inside? Whole place is shaking now. Several entrances to the hangar are sealed but new ones open up for the necrons to spill in through. Oh. My. Omnitia is that a fucking seraptic. We need to leave now. Be rogue trader Winston D. Hallig and definitely not some brain in a tube that's panicking turns out those skateri I hadn't fully evacuated yet and the first impact made things difficult I actually like the skateri I. They don't make unreasonable demands as a rule and are usually willing to deal with anything dangerous. Damn it move closer and send some landing craft to help them evaluate. Have the ship's systems interface with theirs to make things easier. I'm not panicking. Realize I don't have eyelids and should probably stop trying to shut my eyes. Be me. Skateri I Alpha Primus 11999. Finally got into a lander and have the marshal secured in a seat. 
Tell pilot to take off immediately. Pilot is a Taraxii so we should be in safe hands. Whole cabin is moving from one direction to another as we dodge rubble and beams from the Seraptic. Can't make out what's happening but it looks like the main hangar door has collapsed and now we're trying to find a new way out while the whole tomb comes down around us. Hope we make it back to the Ark Mechanicus without getting crushed or shot down. Be me, Sir Data Staller, of House Staller. Be not me, Noble Questorius Knight Vitus Venator, a more loyal companion you will never find. Just touched down on the surface of Trucaris, a jungle world, alongside the Valorous soldiers of the Valhallen 545th. The drawbridge of the dropkeep is barely down, as I, astride of Vitus Venator, are already barreling out. There is battle to be done, chain blade revving, and thermal cannon already glowing with anxious heat. I fall upon the vile foe, greenskins, feet stomping, chainsword singing, thermal cannon burning I scatter them like the vermin they are, legis walk but own hollow then a member of my lance, helmet, astride in the gallant steed veritas mortis, explodes, my heart aches at the sight of his loss, he was a terrible singer, and veritas mortis was somewhat grumpy, but there were still knights emperor damn it. My eyes locate what I assume to be the culprit, an ugly, twisted mess of what might have passed for an armored vehicle in a green skin's mind, barking in order to follow me at the rest of my lance. I took off charging the mockery of a tank that dared to take the life of a member of the Staller household. Stomping past the valiantly fighting Valhallans and Skiterii, I ignore them and their vox chatter, my mind focused on vengeance alone, with Vatus Venator's machine spirit egging me on, like the voice of a lover whispered into my ear, for me to hear alone, my lance, warhorns blaring, breaks through the orcs, like they are but weep before a peasant scythe, until we crash into the vehicle's position, without thinking. The thermal cannon that is Vatus Venator's left arm roars, its target the tank, you shall pay, foul beasts, how comes knights were mentioned but nobody uses them, B road trader Winston D. Hallig, really don't like those readings, suddenly lots more alerts happen, moon starts disappearing, big hole in space with some ice planet on the other side, oh shit it's expanding, whole solar system is about to be moved to another solar system if I'm reading this right, then ice world has 6 minutes before light from new star makes people very confused nothing else for it I ask the explorer magus what we should do, be me. Arch Margos Explorator, be concentrating on on getting as many of my babies as possible out of the moon as fast as possible. Suddenly Archaea ship starts firing Dark Age weapons at it almost splitting it open. I tell him to stop as there are still Skateri and Tech Priests inside and he does. His ordinance seems to have woken up something massive that was inside and is now chasing my Alpha Primus around. Suddenly the Archaea ship contacts me, says something about a portal to another solar system with an ice world opening up to swallow this one. Have no idea what he's talking about. Sensors aren't picking up anything. Don't physically see any portals. Don't even know if that's possible. Ask him to check his senses again as maybe they are just seeing things. Be rogue trader Winston D. Hallig. Be panicking. Arch Margo's explorator hasn't noticed anything unusual. We're already in the other solar system. Check the data like he asked. Find something. He's getting his data at the speed of light. Keep it simple. Tell him what is where and how soon the light will arrive. Be me. Common dude in a hive world far away. An ergling has been appearing on my toilet for days. He wants to eat my ass. Keep praying to the god emperor to get rid of this curse praying so hard my hands hurts. Too afraid of using the toilet. Too afraid of calling the authorities. Too afraid of asking the board. Robe dudes upstairs for help. Too afraid to look for a ritual to banish it myself. Too afraid to flush the toilet. Be me. Fill in an auxilia mercenary. Re. Poorly equipped. I.e. We are wearing flak leotards. Laying in a jungle ditch firing my last rifle at greenskins. Uniform is right up my ass and chafing the base of my tail. Try to ignore it as greenskins are a bigger problem. It really is right up there though in a bad way. 
crack 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 a localica goes my last riffle. Daka 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 scream the orcs. What the fuck are the some monsters per? Many of them dying. Somehow amused by all this gunfire all around. Valhallen tanks and giant robots are engaged with the ugliest immobilized hunk of metal I have ever seen. One of the giant robots explodes as the immobilized hunk of metal still has a gun another giant robot charges forwards and fires some sort of massive beam. Holy shit man, be me. Arch Margo's explorator. My babies are almost all out of the moon and home safe. Archaea ship tells me that I'm only seeing things at the speed of light and gives me instructions to compensate and see what is coming. Okay blessed knowledge make the modifications and... Still don't see anything. No portal. No ice planet. No other solar system. The stars are all the same they should be. No extra sun or planets that shouldn't be there. Must just be the old machine spirit being crazy. Like how it wanted a dick super bad for some reason than didn't. Get back to guiding my babies out of the moon. BZ-23. Observe Knight readying to fire a thermal cannon at tank monstrosity. Clearly avenging his fallen comrade. Order my tank squad back. Massive thermal blast. Explosions follow. Not clear what's happening. Hope the orc shaman didn't somehow survive that. Hope 1,100,111 and Yuri did. Sensors confused by massive amounts of heat and light. Rebooting everything bin. B Sergeant Yuri. Fucking kill stealing knights. I had that bastard orc right in my sights and was about to take the shot when a knight drops down, steps over half the battlefield and one shots the thing. I feel cucked worse than an emperor's children fighting the necrons. Sigh. At least the main threat is eliminated. All we need to do now is mop up the remaining orcs and we can all go home soon. B road trader Winston D. Hulig. Plot course to ice planet. Suddenly old solar system disappears. Check data. Warp gate wasn't going to merge the solar system ship was just showing me we could try along Necron infrastructure. Escaped all those people. Ship's capacitors are low on energy from whatever we did. Change course to mine asteroids while we recharge. Just me and the astropath the abhumans left behind. All is peaceful. Back to restoring my body. B11 million and 1111. Waiting until the explosion stop. Seems safe so I head over to Zeta 23. Report everything that happened. Technically didn't melt target but I don't think that's going to be a problem just want to rest. Probably more hybrid orcs about. Xeno ship to secure. I'm damaged by mine bullets and explosions. Ask for orders anyway because you don't annoy the magus if you can avoid it be sir dire to staller. Of house staller. The thermal cannon turns a mechanical abomination into a molten heap. Armor plates and gun barrels twisting like leaves thrown into a campfire. Yet it was remarkably resilient. Carapace after the blast. To Chaval Rouse for this data I finish it off by driving the revving blade of the two's venator's chainsaw deep into its armor. Until I hit what I assumed passed for an engine or fuel storage. Fire and fury spread through the crumpled remains of the vehicle. Making it shudder under my weapon. Until even the last weapon fell silent. And burning orcs and Gretchen fall out. Rolling on the ground or flailing their arms. My lansomets finish the miserable beasts off with bold cannons and heavy stuff. Others. Panting, I raise the two's venator's head towards the sky, war horns blaring in a triumphant, thundering roar. Helmet was avenged. Justice was done. Activating the vox casters upon the two's venator's hull. I speak up. Vile Xenos. Know that it was Sir Dieter, of House Staller that brought your doom. Then I turn towards the Imperial lines. Noticing the Valhallen staring at me. Or, more accurately, my steed and the wrecked Xenos tank had stood upon. I raise my chainsaw towards the guardsmen in a warrior salute. Valiance deserves to be honored. Well fought, sons of Valhalla, and sons of the Omniscia. Without your work, I couldn't have avenged my fellow. The glory of this day belongs in part to you. Then I turn back towards the fleeing orcs and charge, my lansomets in tow. But do not celebrate for too long, there are more foes to be slain. Vengeance might be sated, but there was still work to be done. BZ-23. Tank exploded. Knights apparently taking us after the rest of the orcs. 
consider just putting 1,100,111 in charge but he clearly needs either repair or recharge tell him to find a space inside the tank until we can get to a place to rest. Remember I'm supposed to be liaising with a guard. Vox Sergeant Yuri privately and let him know he probably had the shot. 86.4% that we had better all go support the knights. And that shaman might not be dead. I don't see his body. Reluctantly gathered tank squad. Fall in behind a knight at the flanks. Hope we can just sit back and watch. Hope nobody takes too much issue with all the Valhallans wielding pulse rifles. Hope nobody decides to fight over all these Deod tanks hanging in reserve. B Trooper Sasha, Valhalla Ice Warriors, pretending to guard the rear or whatever while the tanks massacre everything. Knights arrive to help out, along with more Skaterii. Occasionally take pot shots at any Gretchen that managed to make it this far back. Using a TAU Pulse Carbine against a Grot is fast overkill. You can probably one hit even a relatively large orc with this bad boy. I mean heretic technology. Every once in a while think something is watching me. But it is probably just one of those pervy cat general snipers hiding in the trees. Really big explosion happens. But there has been lots of those lately. So I don't even notice until after the cheering starts that someone blew up the big orc mega tank. Look over the knight is striking a pose glad that is over time for some more tanner and maybe some vodka then the knight turns around and charges after the fleeing orcs sigh start jogging after the lemon russes but soon find myself relatively isolated be me alpha primus 11999 finally escape the collapsing moon making our way back to the arc mechanicus's hangar now time to blow this moon to space dust from the safety or our ship beamy sergeant yuri the giant bone tau tank thing is defeated now we can finally purge the orc fortress proper knights does a pose on top take a bunch of the valhallans and skaterii with him to hunt down the orcs running away that's fine they can't fit inside anyway decide to enter the fortress with the remaining Valhallans and Falinid mercenaries. Just need to kill every single orc inside and blow the thing to scrap metal like the tank. Bearing any unexpected surprises this fight is basically over. This may or may not be the last thing that gets posted here. So I just wanted to thank everyone that participated. Hope this gets saved. See you all next time. B11 million and 1111. Finally some good news. I'm ordered to rest in the nice safe tank drift into sleep. Suddenly notice that Zeta23 has been calling me 1,100,111. Is an 8th digits really too much to ask for? B Zeta23. Seems like the battle is wrapping up. Some Skaterii are asking me about the pulse rifles I am a Margo's override worry about that later. Hope I don't get turned into a servitor. Hope everything in space went over. Okay. Follow Sergeant Yuri as the knights realize they can't fit inside. It's been fun lads.